Hey guys, what's going on? With the release of the New World Tournament, I figured why not just go ahead and talk about all the new cards and their best linking buddies, even if they're kind of whack, like this rare Yajirobe that you see on your screen right now. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the video. So the first one is going to be Secrets of the Martial Arts, or Artists, Yajirobe. Uh, honestly, he was, you know, even though he's a fat bastard, he's a pretty good martial artist back in the original Dragon Ball Saga. He did go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Goku before he got his uh, Korin training, I believe. Uh, yeah, before he got his Korin training, because he actually had to climb up to the Korin Tower with Goku on his back, which was ridiculous for the time. Anyway, Leader Ability Strength Type P plus 2, which is ridiculous in itself, considering he's a rare unit, imagine. Uh, Super Type Knuckle. Causes huge damage and seals. He is a sealer. I know I said this when he first came out. That's ridiculous. Passive skill. Uh, ability under the mask. Physical type enemies attack minus 20%. So uh, so for a rare, I just want to say this. For a rare unit, uh, he's really decent, honestly. Um, his super attack sucks, but he seals attacks and he reduces damage. Um, I honestly think that for who he is, he could be pretty damn useful. Um, I don't think you're ever going to run him on a team uh, personally. I really don't. Uh, but you know what? It doesn't matter. He's he's a pretty cool unit. I do like I do like the fact that they that they're giving rare units uh, some cool like abilities. I know some rares do seal. There are a few of them. I do mention them when I can if I remember them. But the fact that he has damage reduction and sealing as a rare makes him a little bit more unique in my opinion. Link skills are tough as nails in fighters, coward, and flee. He's part of the world tournament category, so if you're lacking some units there for the drops, it's cool. Uh, I'm not going to go over his stats because they're really whack. Go ahead, pause the video if you want to look at them. 12 key multiplier of 120%. Overall, really cool. Let's go over here real quick. We'll take a look at his best linking buddies. We're going to do three or more. Let's just see if he has... Wow, he doesn't have anyone with three or more. Oh, you know what? Let's go over here to SSRs. Wow, nothing, huh? Two? There we go. Okay, so two... For his best linking buddies, it looks like, wow, Raccoon, interesting. Um, so we have Raccoon, we have the free-to-play Urine, you have Bergamo, and you have this guy from Arale, which I don't know, is like Toilet Guy, Plunger Guy, something Superman. Super Superman. Anyway, he is here for this. Uh, let's see, when 50% or above HP, his own strength, uh, key plus 5, uh, enemy attack and defense, 20% down. Alright, cool, that's, that's not bad. Um, he doesn't really have anyone good to link with then, and, um, I guess Raccoon is cool, but, uh, that's who he links with. You're never gonna run him on a team, honestly, uh, but I just figured, let me go ahead and tell you who he links well, really well with. Two or more, not that many. He's a rare unit. Really, just throw him on a world tournament team. Next one is going to be Yamcha. Yes, Yamcha. And actually, it's the Spirit Ball Yamcha. Uh, a working trump card Yamcha. Leader abilities, intelligence type attack plus 30%. Extreme damage to the enemy and lowers the enemy's attack. Passive skill, outcome of turning point. Attack and defense plus 50% when key is 7 or more. Key plus 4 when HP is 70% or below. So when his HP falls below 70%, he is getting 4 key. Um, and he will get attack and defense plus 50%. Not that bad. I mean, for an SR unit, what can you do? Uh, he's definitely not a great unit, but extreme. But considering that we still have SSRs with extreme damage, I mean, you're never going to run him on a primary team, but he is there. Uh, who knows? Maybe one day he'll get a Dokening. Uh, link skills are Turtle School, Speedy Retribution, The Incredible Adventure, and Guidance of the Dragon Ball. So at least he has some link skills for a Dragon Ball team, which is pretty cool. Yamcha's look the same forever. Um, I feel like they should have aged him in the uh, Dragon Ball Super Series, or Dragon the end of Dragon Ball Z. Details are 12 key multiplier of 130%. That's about it. He just gets the Awakened. Pretty fun unit, just because he is a Yamcha, and Yamchas are always like fun to pick on. Um, anyway, for best linking buddy, it looks like the Arale Goku is here for three or more link skills. Well, I mean, I guess you have that going for him. Uh, the, what is this, the, uh, Turtle School training he has, Mysterious Adventure, and Dragon, Guidance of the Dragon Ball. So, I mean, there's that. I guess you could drop this down to two and you'll see a whole bunch of the Dragon Ball Saga guys. Yeah, everything here is Dragon Ball Saga. So, um, you have all of them who will link with him because of those two link skills. Next one is going to be the OG Little Kid Krillin. Pretty cool. Uh, this guy was badass back in his day. All-out strength, Krillin leader abilities, tech type, tech and agility type, attack and defense plus 20%. His super is Kamehameha, of course. Extreme damage to the enemy and lowers defense. I believe this is probably one of the first time in the series he actually used the Kamehameha wave. Passive skill through the skill and movement. So this is actually, he used it in the uh, World Tournament. I think that's when Master Roshi was like saying something to the effect of, Krillin, don't do it, you're not ready. And he did it anyway, and he, I guess he was ready. Uh, passive key plus three at the start of the turn, reduce damage received by 30%. So for those of you who are doing like a damage reduction team, he could be pretty good on a tech team as a blocker. Just because he's an SSR, he is a Krillin. There are a bunch of rares that of him that can drop. So you can increase his super attack to 10, even though it's not really worth it. 
uh, just damage reduction is just cool to have on standby. Even if you're like not a collector like I am, I would probably keep him just because he has that ability. He might come in handy at some point. Link skills are Turtle School, Courage, Best Buddies, and Kamehameha. He's part of the World Tournament team. Not that bad if you're lacking World Tournament category units. 12 key multiplier of 130%. Um, so overall, pretty cool card. I like that. They're, I love the the Dragon Ball series units when they come out. Uh, let's take a look in terms of who he links the best with. Well, let's bring that up. Uh, three or more, nothing, huh? Um, let's drop it down to... Well, we, the thing that sucks about two is when they have two here, um, it's just everyone with the Dragon Ball Saga series. So it looks like he's only going to be linking... Well, actually, no. No, he's not. Okay, cool. I guess he has a lot of the Gokus because of Kamehameha, right? Um, let me go take a look really quick again. So, oh, you know, he doesn't have God into the Dragon Balls. That's interesting that he doesn't have that. Um, so, all the Kid Gokus and all the base form Gokus, most of the base form Gokus and Master Roshis, it looks like he's linking with. He also links with a couple with, with Yamcha, so that's interesting. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you have some, somebody, some people to link with him. Uh, I don't think any of these guys are really, like, that phenomenal. Let's just jump this up to just Ultra Rares. Uh, it's a little bit easier to talk about. You have this Goku over here, which is like, um, I forgot which one this is from. I think this is uh, from an event. Sun Goku, skill restraint, uh, HP, the whole recovery, saying, so I don't even know. <laughs> um, Sun Family, Kamehameha. That's not Sun Family, that's the Martial Arts Turtle School. This is Turtle School 2, guaranteed. Turtle School, Kamehameha. This is probably Turtle School and Kamehameha as well, and this is probably Turtle School, yeah. It's Turtle School, Kamehameha between these guys, so there you go. He's an SR again, you're not going to really run him on a primary team. Uh, next one is Trained in the Heavenly World Goku. Um, this is the Goku when he gets back from training with Kami uh, from the lookout and he goes into the World Tournament. This this Goku, as you can see over here. Uh, it looks like this is the one where he trained, where he fought up against Tien. Only reason I know that is because he does not have his shoes on or his weighted wrists. Um, and I, I just remember that part from the series. And his shirts, uh, he's missing the blue shirt as well. So I remember that part of the series. It's pretty funny. Uh, leader abilities, agility, physical type, HP, and attack plus 20%. Extreme damage, high chance to stun. Interesting, actually. That's really awesome. Um, passive skill, discovering weakness. Uh, defense plus 100%. That's really interesting at the start of the turn. Key plus 2. Attack plus 40% when facing 2 or more enemies. Eh, yeah, it's, that's just horrible. Um, link skills are all in the family. World Tournament Champ, Turtle School, Infighter, and Shocking Speed. Uh, uh, defense plus 100% up when you have a max of 3374 is not really that great. Uh, he has a 12 key multiplier of 125%. I guess it's cool because you increase his super attack with all the rare Gokus. Uh, so you can keep that in mind if you really want to do that. Uh, I probably wouldn't do it myself. But I think you get like a 50% chance to increase his super attack when you Z-Awaken the rare. So it, that doesn't take a lot. I think it just takes like five of each Bubbles, Gregory, and Jiro medals uh, to Z-Awaken. So you get a 50% chance. So if you happen to pull him, you can at least SA-10 him. Uh, that's cool. Uh, overall, I mean, it's just it's just cool to have him. Let's see, in terms of best linking buddies, let's go over here, take a look. We're going to do three or more just to start. Uh, yeah, Master Roshi. Oh, wow, he links with Ultimate Gohan. Cool. So, Ultimate Gohan. Oh, that's why Sun Family. So, he has the Sun Family link. He has Infighter and Shocking Speed. Oh, honestly, that's not that bad for link skills. It's, uh, I, I probably wouldn't run him primarily, but yeah, the only, it doesn't matter if we go to SSR or not. Uh, just because it's the Undokon variant of those two, and then when you add just two or more, he has a whole bunch. All the base form Goku's ultimate Gohans, it looks like. So essentially anyone with uh, Z Fighters um, or In Fighter or something like that. Oh, look at that hit. You have the intelligence hit here. <clears throat> in Fighter or Shocking Speed. Okay. So you have some basic link linking buddies over here if you are interested in any of them. Honestly, I don't see you running them on a team unless you're just doing it for some fun. Uh, last but not least, this is really the one that everyone's probably waiting for. I just wanted to jump through those really quick. Uh, explosive, Maiden, Chi Chi, Leader Abilities, Physical Type, Key, plus 2, Attack and Defense, plus 50%. Super Attack is No Forgiveness, causes supreme damage to the enemy with a rare chance to stun. Passive Skill is Desirable Stranger's Ability. Attacked enemies, Attack and Defense, minus 20% for 2 turns. That's actually really useful for a passive for damage reduction. I don't know what's going on with all this damage reduction right now. When HP is 50% or above, she gives herself Key, plus 3, Attack and Defense, plus 60%. Honestly, she is not that bad of a unit. She has the chance to, to stun, and she does damage reduction. So, I mean, there's really not that much that's horrible about her. Uh, thing is, about her damage reduction, though, you need to attack the enemy first. Uh, so, someone like this, if you're going to feed dupe system, if you happen to do it, you're definitely going to want to do um, additional attacks, because it doesn't require a super attack for her passive skill to go off. She just needs that second attack to go off. So, if you get a double attack, you are going to get... 
um, a 40% attack reduction. Defense, yes, of course, too, but that the attack is really what you're looking for. Anyway, Link skills are the Innocence, Infighter, Battlefield, Diva, The Incredible Adventure, and Guidance of the Dragon Balls. Category is Peppy Gals and World Tournament, so... Honestly, you're really not going to do too much team building there. Um, I'm going to talk. Well, I'm not going to even talk about the teams you're going to do there. So I was just going to say it here. Peppy Gal's team is only going to really be used for the Master Roshi event or any of like the Rebrand event, I guess. Um, so you really don't need to do too much with that. She is an SSR. Maybe when she gets a Doken Awakening one day, uh, her leader ability is probably going to be physical type key plus three uh, attack and defense plus seventy percent or something like that, or maybe HP attack and defense plus sixty percent. Who knows? Maybe. But um, she's only going to be useful on these two teams. Um, when you're looking for the additional drops, and unless, like, <clears throat> if you have a whole bunch of 120s to put on your entire team, which I don't know if we are, we're actually at that point yet in Dokkan Battle, but if you are, you're probably not going to want to run her anyway, because she's going to actually lower the chance of drops, because she's only an SSR, not a TUR. But you can throw on either one of these teams. Uh, personally, I think it's she's pretty useful just because she's an SSR and it gives her she gives herself um, attack and defense plus sixty percent. So she'll probably one shot someone when she's doing a normal attack. Anyway, max stats are going to be HP of seventy nine thirty six, attack of seventy seven oh four, and defense of fifty two fifty one. And I think that's about it. We don't have any of the information about our twelve key multiplier. So. Um, anyway, let's go into the team building guide real quick. And it looks like um, over here, I actually didn't, I forgot to bring that up when we're on her linking buddies too. I usually have this set up before the uh, before I do the video. Um, best linking buddies is going to be the two Balmas. Uh, personally, I think that the free to play tech one will probably be better. Um, and you have the two Gokus. You have the Arale special Goku. And you have, I think this is the Great Ape Goku. Um, let's go over here and hit translate to English real quick. Uh, yeah, this is the Great Ape Goku. So that's not that bad. Three key. I think it's because she has uh, Guidance of the Dragon Balls and Mysterious Adventure. Um, I'm pretty sure that's across. Yeah, yeah. Three, three, and three. So the Innocent she shares with Goku, female fighter, and female fighter with the two with the two Bulmas, and the Innocence with the Goku. So she shares the Innocence with the Gokus, and she shares female fighter with the two Bulmas. <clears throat> so personally, if you're gonna run her on a team, you can definitely do it. Um, if you're trying to have fun, the two Bulmas. I mean, these are all Dragon Ball Saga units. So, I mean, you could also go over here if you want to, and then you just, it's essentially the reason why I'm doing this is to prove a point. Everything here is going to be any of the Dragon Ball Saga units. I think, like, well, let's see, we have Pan and Pandel. I think those two maybe are the only two who don't have that, the Innocent Female Fighter. But, um, that's really it. Um, she's part of the Dragon Ball Saga. That's all I could really say about that. She's a, you know, pretty cool unit. If you're looking for a mono-physical team, uh, I guess we can go over here. It doesn't really matter at this point. We can just, just stay on this one page. Um... Let's go over here, see who she links with, with two or more key, keys links. Uh, we have Balma, we have Arale, we have Pan, which we already talked about, Goku, which we already talked about, and God, uh, Kami. Kami is Mysterious Adventure, got into the Dragon Balls, Pan is the Innocence Female Fighter, Goku is the Innocence, and the two Dragon Ball Link skills, the, Balma is the two Dragon Ball Link skills, uh, and Innocence and Female Fighter. So, um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, interesting, interesting setup over here. You're really not going to run her too often in terms of best linking buddies, uh, but she's good for those categories. If you're looking up against like uh, the Hercule for the World Tournament event for the Zenny or for his statues, or if you're going for Roshi for the training items. But really, honestly, that's about it. There's nothing really else to say about it. She's a cool unit. She, I like her debuff ability. If you're trying to do a debuff team or um, a damage reduction team, she's going to come in really handy for you. But anyway, guys, that's it. That's the World Tournament reward. Personally, I don't think she's worth attaining, or at least... Uh, for the grind you have to do specifically to attain the card, I do not think it's worth it. With that being said, because most people probably share my opinion, the chances of you being able to place in this world tournament are pretty high. Um, they're also allowing you to get hidden potential orbs by placing. I don't know, I don't remember if the JP side did that last time, so if they did, let me know in the comments below. But um, I know that now, if you place, you do get the chance to get the hidden potential orbs. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. I hope that was helpful and informative. I'll catch you all down in the comments below. Peace.